Spiral Dynamics Stage Purple, the Troyable Magic Stage. If you're not familiar with Claire Graves' model of Spiral Dynamics, watch this video first. Otherwise, without further ado, let's get started. Stage Purple is characterized by strong family bonds, as well as belief in magic and spirits. And Stage Purple can most often be found in small secluded groups, such as tribes in the Amazon, as well as in kindergarten or school in small friend groups. That's most often where you see Stage Purple. But stage Purple groups have very strong family bonds, and they tend to see each other as sort of family members. And the individual serves the tribe. The individual is kind of like an organ of a larger organism, the tribe. So there's no real individuality. The individual's needs aren't really the priority. The tribe's survival is. That's why self-sacrifice and service to the tribe is so important at stage purple. Then there's the belief in magic and spirits, and also superstition. There's a very close connection to spirits and nature. A person at stage purple wants to please those spirits through rituals and sacrifices, etc. Stage purple also wants to live in harmony with nature. After all, in small tribes, you're very dependent on nature. And now a list of characteristics of stage purple. Stage purple is pre-agricultural, meaning there's no organized farming. For example, hunter-gatherer tribes. Food is scarce, and you have to spend most of your day hunting or gathering food. Stage purple is also pre-literate, meaning that tradition is conveyed through stories and example, instead of through writing it down. And stage purple is also very much traditional, even more than stage blue. In stage purple, you have to follow the ways of the ancestors, follow the way that it's always been done. And stage purple is also very spiritual, or specifically animistic, Meaning that everything is regarded as alive and spiritual. The trees, the weather, the sea, the sun. It's all regarded as having a spirit. And you have to please these spirits through rituals and sacrifices. Stage purple is also very much intuitional. People at stage purple have a very strong intuition. For example, they could know when it's about to rain just by looking at the behavior of birds or other animals. And now stage purple also has a set of values. I've also compiled a short list of these. And they include community and connection. Stage Purple values the family and the tribe. They value contribution to the tribe and the idea of honor, as well as mother nature. The telling of myths and folk tales, respecting the ancestors, the elders, wisdom and experience. And next up, some examples of Stage Purple. First, people in Stage Purple. The most obvious that probably comes to your mind are tribes in the Amazon rainforest, or in Africa or the Middle East. And for example, Native Americans or the Maori. But in general, Paleolithic humans are at Stage Purple. Then we have toddlers. Toddlers, for example, tend to see objects as living and have a hard time distinguishing reality from imagination. And a movie example would be the Ewoks from Star Wars. And next, some examples of behaviors at Stage Purple. We have secret handshakes, chanting and drum music, then voodoo and witchcraft, sacrifices, blood oaths and curses, sacrificing yourself for something, for example kamikaze pilots in World War II or suicide bombers, then we have herbal medicine, and next up some ideas or cultures at stage purple. The Shinto religion, urban legends and mythology, superstition such as seeing black cats, knocking on wood, ravens, that sort of thing, and astrology. They are all examples of stage purple. Now you should have a pretty good grasp of what Stage Purple is, and what is there to learn from Stage Purple. Stage Purple teaches us the value of socialization and connection. See, now the problem is, today most cultures are at Stage Blue, Orange or Green, so when we grow up, we're not exposed to Stage Purple. So we don't pick up on the skills that we're supposed to. We don't value socialization as much. This has become even worse with the advent of new technology. We just sit on our asses at home watching TV instead of going out to socialize. So many people are socially inept. Stage Purple really teaches us the value of connection. Another thing Purple teaches us is that we're a communal species. Humans are meant to live in groups. We're not meant to live in an apartment alone, never going outside. And that leads to a lot of problems. We have problems such as loneliness, a lot of incels, etc. We're not supposed to live isolated from people. And Stage Purple also teaches us the value of emotions, nature and spirituality. Especially Stage Orange societies tend to neglect all of these. We're like, emotions? Who needs that sort of thing when you can have money? But that's missing the point. We isolate ourselves to cities and just pursue materialistic goals. This is not the optimal way to live, which leads to problems such as depression, obesity, etc. And next, Stage Purple also teaches us the value of slowing down and living minimalistically. Oh, and by the way, if you somehow end up lost in a forest with a stage purple tribe, make sure to respect their customs, tradition and elders. Or you might end up becoming their food. So now you know the most important stuff about stage purple. How do you move on? How do you transcend stage purple? You have to question and let go of tradition and magical thinking. You have to think rationally and develop a sense of personal ambition. Remember that the next stage is stage red. 
Speaking of which, once I've uploaded it, watch that right here. Out.